All right, number two on the list, J.J. McCarthy. Came out. He didn't look a little tight, but I, I thought the interception was just a, a – he threw it behind the receiver. He was trying to scramble to his right, and Jack Jones jumped the route, made a nice play. After that, and after the the starters on both sides of the ball made their way to the bench, he got hot. That's fine. Threw two touchdown passes after halftime. Um, two long passes. Talk about guys that are running wide ass open. <laughs> Whatever. He made the throw, hit the guy in stride, touchdown. Uh, he showed his arm strength. And I always thought he had a, a really good arm. There were people last year that were questioning his arm strength. The athleticism was there. He didn't look, he looked a little frenetic at times, but I thought he calmed down as the game progressed. And the, the asterisk to all this is that he has a meniscus injury. He's going to have to undergo surgery. And we don't know what the timeline is going to be in his return based on what Kevin O'Connell said, because it base, it, it's based on the procedure and what they find out there. But all told, I thought a pretty good start to his his career. Yeah, a little rough in the beginning, first couple yeah. of snaps. Uh, but once he settled down, a thing that I was impressed with was his presence and poise in the pocket. He knew when to step up in the pocket. He could feel pressure coming from the outside. Um, watching Vegas and their defense, um, they played some man coverage now, and when they had man coverage, there was some coverage bust on why those guys were wide open. But you have to give them credit for stepping up in the pocket, for seeing uh, the busted coverages, or just, you know, I think the first long run was the corner just got beat out of his turn on the left-hand side, but he was accurate down the field with his throws. Some of the things that people were criticizing him for uh, – about can he make all the the deep throws and all the throws necessary at the NFL. I always went back, and you can check the other podcasts. I go back to that TCU game two years ago, said that 100 times. I know he threw two TD uh, picks for, for touchdowns for interceptions, yes. and interceptions for touchdowns, but you've seen all the things you kind of seen and flash in this game. So I was kind of impressed with his feel in the pocket, uh, his accuracy was off a little bit at times. Uh, the throws he hit, I'm going to give him total credit for because they were on time and they hit the receiver in stride. Uh, I'd like to see it a little bit more tight window throws when the real dudes are out there. And if there's not that much space uh, between a, a, a receiver and a DB, that's the only thing that I didn't check the box because I didn't see enough of it. I think he can do it. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, overall, uh, very good performance. And just like Caleb, JJ took shots down the field and it was fun to see a lot of times when these rookies come in, they are going to be, and some of these guys we're going to talk about, they don't take many shots down the field. Uh, but Bo or, uh, JJ did, uh, Caleb Williams did. Uh, Michael Penix Jr., who we'll talk about, all those guys weren't afraid to to take the chunk plays and take shots down the field, which I was impressed with. And sometimes it feels like when you watch these young players out there for the first or second time, everything is sped up. So they have their first read, and then they just – everything gets blurry. They they scan the, the field, and then they, they run or, or escape the pocket. And we'll talk about a, a young man who seemed to struggle to stay in the pocket, a clean pocket, most of the time was thrown off balance, and sometimes that affected his accuracy, at least down the field. But for J.J., uh, I think you're right. Started a little slow, had the interception, and they got progressively warmer. The injury the injury stinks for him, but I think this is Sam Darnold's team either way. So this might actually be a, a bonus for J.J. to have to slow down a little bit. Do you think that's right or not? Yeah, you're going. everybody's going to feel good about J.J. coming off the first preseason game now. You have that to make you feel good as you, he goes through and gets his knee scope and probably be ready in, you know, I don't know, three, four weeks maybe. Um, may have to start the season on IR to begin with um, and then be ready to go. I still think, though, if they're struggling and they have a very tough first five games of the season, uh, when they come back from London after playing the Jets over in London, by week and then Detroit, uh, that is at the J.J. McCarthy time, depending on where they're at record-wise through those first five games. I love how you're trying to talk your old team into starting a rookie quarterback against your new team. 